good. Sounding good. Stand by. Recording. Ready. Okay. And we're... All right. Harrison, thanks so much for talking to HuffPost Australia. Pleasure. Now there's a little film called The Force Awakens, due to open. I know you've seen the film. What were the circumstances around the viewing? Who were you with? Was it a, with cast and crew? How did it work? It was myself, alone, in a dark room. I saw it by myself. Wow, okay, and you're not going to tell me anything about the film, and I wouldn't want you to, but what was your reaction? What was it like? The audience went wild. <laughs> the, the they that loved it. <laughs> That's good to hear. So no, I was delighted. I, you know, as much as you, as much as you know, you don't know. Uh, you don't know it all till the fat lady sings. No offense to fat ladies, um, or singing, but it, it, it was, it, it was great. I, I really, uh, am very pleased with the film. I can't wait to see it. Now the build up and anticipation for this film is immense. Average. <laughs> Especially with social media dominating the landscape. <coughs> you, this is not your first radio. You've been around. How does this compare to, to previous big blockbuster films you've been in, in terms of the pre-film experience? Uh, you know, it's, a, it's pretty extraordinary, um, um, the, the, both the anticipation and the, and the management of, uh, of the event that comes from within. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, JJ and uh, and Lucasfilm have and Disney have made judicious use of of the uh, of the appetite and been wise in the way they have promoted the film and I'm I'm you know happy for that as a you know as somebody who's participating in the event yeah and on that subject I mean you appear to be having so much fun promoting this film. Um, it's been going for a while now. I recall seeing you quite visibly moved during your appearance at San Diego Comic Con last July. Has, has reconnecting with Han Solo, bringing the character back, has this been an emotional ride for you? Mm, uh, not, not exactly in, in the context which you have described it. Um, the character is, um, you know, uh, the the audiences, um, their perception of the character is of utility to them. To me, you know, it's a very different thing. I'm, I work in the sausage factory. I, I know what goes into the, the, the sausage, and um, and still I make sausage. <laughs> That's what I do. So for me, it was a, it was it. It would only be fun to revisit Han Solo if there were, you know, some special craft involved in the in the in the making of the of the story that he's part of, and there was and there is, and I'm very pleased with having the chance to come back and uh, be part of the event. And we're very pleased to uh, eat the sausages that uh, are about to be delivered. Thank you. Um, the Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy, you know, she she talked about yourself and your co-star Peter Mayhew walking onto the set, getting aboard the Millennium Falcon, and she described it as an incredible experience and said every single person in the crew was stunned. What's what's your recollection of that moment? I I, I don't remember it that way, <laughs> but it's nice that she says that. Um, it was you know, it was, uh, um, I'm not I'm. When I'm on a movie set there, I'm there for practical purpose. I want to get the nugget of story that we're there to specifically to, to get. I want to do the best I can. I want to hit my mark. I want to be on time. I want my hair to look good. Uh, I just want to do it. And uh, so I'm not so nostalgic. I'm more, you know, uh, fixed on other things. But look, having said that, uh, being part of this really changed my life. Uh, it gave me a career that's um, not quite over, <laughs> uh, although I put it in jeopardy many times. Uh, and I'm happy, uh, you know, to to uh, think about, you know, what 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 being part of this thing has uh, has meant to my life. 
Um, Kennedy also um, described your relationship with Peter Mayhew, like these old buddies reconnecting. Have you um, been in t- kept in touch with him over the years, or was this a reunion? It was more of a reunion. I, um, you know, I, um, I've seen Peter maybe three or four times over the years, and always uh, glad to see him, happy to see him. But we don't have a, uh, you know, we don't. I don't get up in the morning and say, I wonder what Peter's doing. Um, there's a, a bunch of other um, of your old friends in this film. I don't, I, you know, it's just. I, I, I get it. It's not about Peter. I, I like Peter very much. For sure. It's just, we, you know, you, you go someplace and you work intensely with people and, and you have a good time and then they go back to what they do and you do. And, you know. I'm really curious about how you found working with Daisy Ridley. This is her first ever film. Uh, what a film to explode onto the scene with. Um, as, a, as a veteran actor who's, who's been around the block a few times, you, you pass on some tips to, to Daisy? <laughs> no. Uh, I did not uh, feel either that it, that it was appropriate or necessary. She has worked very hard to get herself uh, prepared physically to play this part. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and, and was well cast and well guided by the director. And uh, um, it was not for me to interfere in, in that process. Um, I th- I, having seen the film, I will say that I think she's extraordinary, as is John Boyega and other people that you will be seeing uh, um, in big, uh, important roles in the film. Um, she's uh, she's really, um, I mean, this is an extraordinary opportunity, and she's well. She's she's going to be just fine. Um, Mark Hamill, nowhere to be seen in the promotion for this film. How, how does Disney, if we're a few days out from premiere, how on earth do they keep this mystery such a secret right up to the end? What's the security? That's how we do it. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Harrison Ford, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Good. All right. Thanks.